All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Kakudash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well, being good as them, touch younger brothers. Peace and blessings throw full leg, Lord willing to be a part of that number. All right, I'm the brother Kudar from Jimmy's Ben Chicago. We'll come back with another video. This video is going to be entitled um, The Earth Will Be uh, Governed in Righteousness When Yahweh Shai is Ruling. All right, and I wanted to start with. Uh, I keep getting I'm in uh Sarat 10, not where's my Solomon 10. Um I'm gonna start off with this uh Sarat 10 in verse 1. It says a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. Alright, so when you have a um a well trained ruler, by way uh, a ruler with wisdom, alright, for example, let's say a a uh, King Solomon, who was our Lord Yahweh Shai, if you can understand that, all right, that Israel had 40 years of peace, all right, hey, Solomon was judging things very wisely, man, all right, it says he searched out every matter, all right, it says, uh, as the judge of the people is himself, so, so is, is himself, comma, so are his officers, and what manner of ruler the, of the city of the of Salaki, what manner of ruler of the city is, such are all they that are that dwell therein. All right, and if we look at this society, hey, this is the most wicked society of all time. Hey, this is the worst kingdom of all time. Hey, America is the amalgamation of all all the kingdoms, man. All right, that's why there's so much confusion. All right, and who's who's at the top of the top? All right, Esau. All right, these elite banking families, man. All right, who the, the who's who are the sons of the wicked, as the scripture says. All right, the scripture calls them the uh, base men, are the basis of men. The Lord say He says about the basis of men. All right, hey, so this is the this, hey, this is the lowest of lowest. All right, in power, man. So and him him having those uh him being in power, are his subjects will also be wicked. You gotta remember this devil pushes out wickedness all the fucking time, and his mo is to go against the Most High. All right. The scripture says uh, in Revelation six. All right. Um, he shall take peace from the earth. All right. And a part of taking peace from the earth is destroying the natural. Hey, a part of it is taking uh, destroying the natural order. All right, fucking up the herbs. All right, fucking up the the whole earth. Period, man. All right, fucking up the minds of our people. Okay. Hey, so that, that's a part of taking peace from the earth, man. Hey, uh, sowing nothing but wickedness, man. All right, that's why we got to get up out of here. All right? Hey, the scripture says Proverbs 29 and 2. As a matter of fact, let me grab that. It says, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. All right, hey. And the people are mourning right now, man. All right, the whole earth is mourning. Even uh, uh, Esau, the so-called white man's own people, man, he, they are mourning. All right, and if you say if you say there's peace on the earth right now, you're a liar. All right. Hey, hey everyone is suffering in this society, man. All right, give me one second. It says, um, an unwise king destroyeth his people. All right, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. And how is Esau destroying the people, man? All right, by constantly pushing out wickedness. All right, it's not, it's, it's not meant to be that way, man. You're going completely contrary to what the Lord says, man. All right, and there's consequences behind that. All right, so we got, for example, let's say, 
uh, we know we're not supposed to eat uh, swine. Uh, we know the Israelites aren't supposed to eat swine. You ain't supposed to eat swine, period. All right? The Most High didn't give you the reason. All right? <laughs> hey, but once you go into it, you'll understand why. All right? Hey, right now we're living out... Uh, we're, we're, we're living out that, 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 that philosophy that Eve took in, man. All right? And who did she take... And who uh, gave it to her? All right, the, the serpent, Esau. All right, so the scripture says the foundation of the earth are out of course, man. That's why everything is so ass backwards. All right, there's so much confusion going around, man. You don't know what's what. Nowadays, you look at a, a, a woman, it might be a man. All right, you got to double check. All right, and if, you, if, you, if, if your spiritual radar is going off, then the spirit's like, nah, nah, leave that one alone. <laughs> All right? Hey, this is a wicked society we live in, man. All right? That's why we begging for Yahweh Shai to come back quickly, man. All right? That's why the, uh, the Lord is speeding up the days. Okay? This is, um... This is the path, verse 4. So, Rock 10 and verse 4. All right? Uh, the, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. All right, the scripture said the kingdom is translated to one people to another. Hey, the Lord, that transfer of power will be with our Lord Yahweh Shai. The Israelites got next. The scripture says um, Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed it, man. Jacob held on to Esau's heel. All right, so the Israelites got next. All right, to hell with the fucking Edomites and the heathens, man. Especially the heathens. All right, this is, uh, let me grab this. Um, Isaiah, the second chapter. Isaiah 2 and verse 1. The word, the word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house. All right, that mountain represents the government, that, that rulership. Okay. Shall be established in the top of the mountains. All right. So the, hey, the Lord's government is going to be, the Lord's rulership is going to be at the top of the top. He's going to be the one calling the shots. The Israelites. All right? Starting with Yahweh Shai. It says, um, It shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow into it. It says, And many shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, and to the house of the Most High of Jacob, the power of Jacob. And he will teach us his ways, and we will uh, walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go for the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. All right. Hey, so once we, we were just at that Sirach 10, it says as the, as the ruler, so is the people. Hey, the Israelites will be uh, ruling the earth in righteousness, man. So the earth is going to be at peace, as it says in Proverbs 29 and 2. All right. It says, uh, verse 4, he shall judge among the nations that shall rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Uh, Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. So learn war anymore. Alright, so these weapons will be burned up, they will be destroyed. There will be no more wars in the kingdom. It's gonna be peace. Alright, it says, Oh house of Jacob, come ye, and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Alright? And so the Israelites is gonna be ruling and governing in righteousness, man. Alright, same thing. It's Isaiah 5 and 20. Uh, woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and, and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter alright that's what this devil has done he's flipped everything around alright and, and to back that up and, and just, to, just to prove a point this is Psalms uh, the 82nd chapter and the 5th verse all right, one second. It says, they know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. All right, meaning everything is ass backwards, man. This devil pushes, hey, you get made fun of for being uh, righteous. All right, you get talked down on for being righteous. Hey, a woman gets talked down on for obeying her husband. 
All right. <laughs> All right. And this this society uh, looks down on you for being uh, righteous, man, for following after the Most High. That's how you know we live in a wicked world, man. We live in a wicked society, as the Elder Yakia will always say, present evil world. This present evil world we live in. All right. A good a good is counted as evil, and evil is counted as good. Okay, and that's why this place is going, is going to be destroyed, and the righteous rulership, starting with Yahweh Shai, is going to be established, man. So I, I I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kadosh, that will honor by elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the full like, Lord willing to be a part of that number. Shalom, call me a Sharala, why Bible ball.